Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a what if. Being the thumb what if for the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here. This is gonna be a universal intro from now on. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros. So this is gonna be in intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Wait, wait, nigga. Alright, so this is obviously part three. So let's just get into the wave. Now, after the sports festival, the next, let's say the next week, we're getting a week time, a week off, everybody would come back to class. To which Aizawa would then tell everyone that they're going to be doing something special today picking their hero names. As everyone, you know, is obviously, I'm just very excited. As Aizawa said, but I won't be helping you with that. As you. I'm terrible at picking names, if you couldn't tell by my name, which I think Eraserhead is the dope name. I really wish I would have made Eraserhead into a DC or Marvel character. I really do. Or like a Marvel very variation, but like the power to erase other people's power. Like imagine, like imagine how broken Eraserhead was if he couldn't erase the powers of everybody with just a look at them. Now think about that. Which is why I'm also might be put doing a in the future somewhere in the future maybe in August, sometime in August. Um, which will be what if Dec what if Naruto had Eraserhead's quirk? So, you know, that's why I'd be stupid. But think about it, Naruto's power of erasure could work. No, I won't go into it. But that's what's at the point. So he would tell everyone that they um um he would tell them that someone else would come. When this is then when a person will walk in the door. The person being midnight. As me and I will tell the class, she's going to be helping them pick their name. And if she doesn't like the name, she'll tell them no, and they'll have to pick another one. Until they find the perfect name. So, obviously, Deku would be the first one to go up. Obviously, since he already has his name. As Deku says, the champion hero... <clears throat> Deku says, um... You guys have to read it, because if I say it out loud, then a random... A, a bolt of lightning would literally strike down through the classroom. And if anybody is above us, then they're out of luck. Is everyone says, oh, so you chosen the name of your, um, transformate, the name that you had to say for your transformation. As Deku says, yes, the, the other name was Captain Marvel, but, eh, I didn't, it just didn't fit right with me. As they would go through all the other names, with it mostly being the exact same for everybody. <clears throat> so, after this, Aizawa would then say, thank you, Midnight, before Midnight would then leave. As Aizawa would then say, no. Usually, this isn't available to the first years. It's more available to the second years and rarely to the third years. And this is how they've already gone through this, probably in their second years. It says, but due to how amazing you guys performed during the um, sports festival, Pro Heroes basically demanded that we allow this for you guys for the first years. It won't be like interns, it won't be like work studies, but these are going to be internships. I see you then point to a board which then shows. All of the, um, you know, all of the names and everybody and how many agencies sent them a offer. So, everybody would be looking. Is the Deku sees that he has an offer from almost every top pro, actually from every top pro hero, including Endeavor. But something that will cross his page that he absolutely disgusts and he crosses out immediately is his parents' name. Which that did state that they were the number five, I believe the number five and six is what I said. It was something like that. Um, number heroes. So Deku will then decide, you know what? As Deku decides to take up um who do I want him to go with? Not Grand Torino, we're gonna have him go with we're we're gonna have him go with Endeavor. So now, I know you guys be like, yo, there's no point in him going to Endeavor, but this is the only way I can get him into Hosu without him going to Gran Torino or maybe going to a lower person. So, um, yeah. 
I think him going to um, Endeavor will get him in Hosu a lot faster. Or I could just skip, you know, simply just skip over the staying in today and go straight into the finals and stuff like that. But anyways, after this, everybody would um, choose their, their internships and then later on in the week they would be prepared to leave. Deku and obviously and Shoto would be at the train station and would head together to Endeavor's agency. Endeavor says that he is happy that Deku had accepted his his um, offer. As Deku says, yes, as I believe I did make Deku and Todoroki pretty good friends, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. It might have been in another What If. I believe it was in the Sasuke one, which I do have the movie. I have to edit the movie together. I'll fin I finished the series at for once. I just didn't post the movie. So, just wait for that. It'll come out. So... Once this all happens, um, Endeavor will then tell them to get in their hero costumes. That they're going to go on, patro on a patrol. As they, um, Deku, you know, ask him where. He says in Hosu. Uh, Deku asks why Hosu. As, you know, he says to, f to find and defeat the hero killer. As Deku will nod. And, you know, um, Deku will nod. And him and Endeavor and Shoto will all head out to our Tosu. Now, they wouldn't come across the hero killer that night or the next night. But when um, but when it comes to the third night, Deku and obviously Shoto would be, um, you know, with Endeavor when the gnomes would start to attack. But both Deku and Shoto would get a ping on their phone, which would be Izumi's location. Obviously, she did the same thing that Deku would have done in canon by sending it out at a location to a... Um, to the uh, to whoever was in the area, and Deku and Shoto would get it. As Deku would uh, run out towards where um sh um where the location is, him and Shoto, but they didn't notice a news reporter following them. So obviously, the news reporter would follow them, and Deku and Shoto would eventually arrive in the alleyway. The news reporter hiding on top of a building getting a clear shot of the fight. They then, as the news reporter is broad, live broadcasting, he's, um, them in, ver in front of Stain. As Stain says, more fake heroes. As Deku says, Shoto, get the rest of them out of here. I'll take him on myself. Shoto says, are you sure? Deku says, yes. I'm trusting you with protecting them. And protecting, I'm trusting you with protecting them. Either or not, as Deku would then um, um, Deku would then push Soto out of the way as a sword would strike upon Deku's arm, but the sword would break. This thing says, huh? And Stain would then grab two knives before then trying to stab them into Deku's face. Only for nothing to happen. The knives break. As Deku says, sorry. As Deku brings Stain closer, he says, only magic can hurt magic. As he then throws Stain into a wall. Before then, dis before then disappearing in a burst of speed, with everyone hearing like kind of a sonic boom, as we also then hear another boom, which is Deku hitting Stain in the wall, as Stain is sent throughout Hosu. As the news reporters are catch car are catching this, you know all the the news reporters in the helicopter would begin to you know um, listen, look, hear the boom, and would then turn towards it to see Midoriya fighting Stain. Now, Endeavor seeing this would say, Grand, uh, say, oh man, can you take care of them here? I have to go help my interns right quick. This thing. Go ahead and go. As with Deku, Deku is currently pummeling Stain down into the ground. And this is pretty easy for him. Stain is basically, while well, Stain does have impressive speed, there's nowhere near Deku's. And Deku would not even really need it because of his mind. is very... Well, Suzanne can be smart. He does. He could be smart, but you know how to say he is. But he's Deku is smart himself, so Suzanne is also smart. So the Deku would actually play as smart and really stop letting um Stan get close enough to him to land strikes. After Deku figured out, um, you know, base after Deku was fighting him, and Deku saying that um. Stain had to stab, tried to stab him constantly. Deku would think that it has something to do with his stain and his knives with his quirk or something like that. That's what he would put together. He wouldn't put together Stain's quirk exactly, but that's what he would put together. So, Deku would deliver a bunch of quick punches to Stain's gut, you know, causing him to knock in the wind out of him. 
before delivering a quick kick and then a lightning blast straight down the stain. That stain is set flying. As Deku says, Now, stain, stop it. And stain was saying, No. N never. As he tries to stab Deku again, as Deku says, Well, then good night. As Deku will fly up into the ground while his hands are around Stain's neck, as the cameras are all catching this. So they're wondering what Deku's doing. And they then hear Deku flying down at such a high speed as he slams Stain into the ground, knocking Stain unconscious. And, and this is when Endeavor arrives, saying, Damn it, Midoriya. What are you doing? You're not supposed to fight the hero killer. You don't even have a license to fight. You can get in trouble for this. She says, And the news got it all. As Deku says, well, while you were fighting the Nomus, they were attacked by Stain. So I stepped, when I got the location, um, when I got a notification of my, uh, of her location, of Izumi's location, I came immediately with Shota and we tried to, and we helped defeat them. We helped defeat Stain, or, well, rather I did. While, Sto while Shota got the rest of them out of, out of the way. So you should be thanking me. As the news reporter um, is hearing this, as the news reporter says, um, is is Devil hears the news reporter scream? Yeah, you should be thanking him. As everyone in their TV screens is saying, yeah, that he took care of a person who was constantly threatening the hero society. So obviously, you know, Endeavor was sent down, and later on after the event was happened, and everyone's in the hospital. Um, what was? The chief of police's name. Well, where is it? The chief. The chief will come in and would um would tell me Doria that normally he would be in and a lot of trouble for you know fighting thing without a license, but because the public backed him and he would and uh, basically they would lose um you know a little bit of faith in the hero society because of for um punishing a kid for doing what a hero is supposed to do. He won't be punished. Well, he won't be punished publicly. Publicly, as Deku nods, as um, the chief then says, but personally, he would also like to thank Deku. Deku got a killer off the streets, something that other pro heroes weren't able to do. As Deku would nod, as they um, as chief police would take his leave. And that will end the internship. Well, they actually, no, they will continue the internships, training alongside Endeavor, actually. They could actually learn aerial combat while fight, while training with Endeavor. So, it'll be a lot better. He While he did learn some aerial combat, he wasn't able to truly perform it, like, at its top way. But Endeavor, being someone who be able to fly in short burst, was able to was able to help him, you know, control this a lot better and actually fly and actually fight while in the flight. Um fly while in the air. So once everybody returns from the um from the internships, Azal would congratulate Midoriya on taking care of um basically taking care of Stain. But he would also tell Midoriya that he's gonna be in trouble with Nezu. That Nezu wants to speak with him and that he's in trouble, especially with him. So Nezu would then tell Midoriya. And then he's extremely proud of what he's done, but he has to punish him for what he did because it was against the law. So obviously Deku said, you know what, I welcome it. If I get in trouble for doing what a hero should do, then this is what I sh then I'll just get in trouble for it. As Nezu says to me, Dory, I know your intentions are pure, but there are laws in place that you can't just go and break. It was says, fine. As Nezu says, so, for punishment, you will be taking your exams by your, your final exams by yourself. As that could not. As uh, people say, you, ha you have a couple of weeks, you have like a week or two to prepare. As they could not. This is going to time skip. Well, I'm actually going to go to the next day um, where everybody will come back as they will be doing, I believe it was the race, that race thing that they did once they came back from the internships. Now, obviously, when, when they would start, Deku would obviously place first. Not only can he fly, he can run at probably faster than the speed of sound. 
So not only are those who probable things that allows him to win, that goes strong. So he'll just break anything in his way, and isn't well. That's mostly that too. So yeah, those three things will really come in handy with Midoriya doing this off this test or this um, what is it called when you do things like this? Um, excitement, Rainman. I can't, I can't think of it, but you guys should probably know what I'm talking about. So after this, I would then tell everyone that they should. So obviously, um, when Deku get back, he hears everyone discussing about the finals. Now, it will be revealed that Deku actually placed number one in the midterms. It's Deku, who also has an intelligence boost or a wisdom boost. Does his wisdom count for intelligence? I doubt it, but you know. So, you know, um, everyone will try to get Midoriya to study with them, but Deku will say he has better things to do, like preparing for the physical portion of the exam. So, once every once everybody leaves, Deku would actually go to his lair, where his magic is strong, whereas the magic is the strongest. And begins to train there, improving on upon his skills. So, obviously, um, time will pass by for the exams, where Deku is still placed number one in the finals. And this is then when they will all come to and um come down to the area, which I believe was the city, uh, for the finals if I'm um, well, the entrances it's not the same as a gamma it was what 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 test site was it it was a test site I know that so they upon in uh, going down there everybody will be waiting for the uh, robots you know the teeth doing all of the UA staff would appear and they will find out that they are not fighting robots but they're fighting the teachers themselves So, basically, once this is all through, um, Mezu would then announce that they're going to be in teams of two fighting one of the pro heroes, either trying to capture them or to escape from them, from their testing area or their testing site, wherever they are. And would then reveal them, um, who's on teams and who's fighting who. So, instead of All Might fighting Izumi and Katsumi, Bakugo, he would, um, he would, and Bakugo, which I, since Deku would be fighting solo, there would be a three, team of three. Those three would be fighting Endeavor, who, you know, volunteered, obviously. They needed the extra hand. He wanted to fight Midoriya, but no. They wanted someone else to fight him. And when Deku didn't see his name on there, Deku would ask, who is he fighting? When he hears a voice say, I am here. As All Might comes down, as Deku says, so I'm fighting All Might, huh? As Deku, as Deku says, fine. As Deku says, but I want to go first. As Nancy says, but me do it. Deku says, I just need to get this over with. As Deku and, um, as Deku and All Might will walk into their city, the city air testing site, and will begin the match when Nezu will say start, and Deku will begin running towards All Might before delivering a straight punch right to his wounded side, right into it. Deku says, as All Might begins to call for blood, as Deku sees that um sees something, smoke is emitting from All Might. As Nezu immediately has all the students leave the room immediately, not 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 allowing any of them to see. As All Might is then you know basically, punches basically into his base form. She says, "Could you not hit me there, Yami Doria?" As Deku says, "Let me guess, you have a weak spot or something." She says, yes. Yes, I do. As Deku says, and says, fine. Hurry up and transform. As he transforms back into All Might, as they begin to fight again, as Nezu, it, um, in, as everyone enters the room again, as Deku delivers a good two punches straight to All Might. The four of them flying in the air. As All Might jumps in the air and tries to fight Deku, only for Deku to grab his fist and to basically start spinning All Might like he was, you know, how the cowboy spin the rope. Like that. He's spinning All Might in a circle. Before then throwing him into a building. 
as Deku will begin to light, lightning will begin to emit from Deku as his eyes begin to glow a blue bluish yellow. As Deku then puts both his hands together as Deku conjures up a big lightning attack before then hitting All Might with this. Cause everyone sees that all basically, you know how in the cartoons when someone gets hit with lightning you can see their skeleton, they're seeing that. So, no, they're seeing all my skeleton because of how well, it's not that it's power. It might be because it's powerful. I don't know if I want it to be powerful, but it's because it's just lightning in general. So Deku would then, you know, have lightning surrounding his fist before they're spinning off at all my, like at a running pace, before they're punching him through three buildings. So Deku says, "I can't believe I had to hold back against you, Uncle Toshinori." Which is something that they can't really hear him. So they, they can only really see the fight. So they can't hear him speak. As Toshinori would say, you're holding back. Well then, let's not. As All Might begins to power up. Up until 100%. One for all. One final smash. She says, United States of... Smash! As he lands a punch on Deku. Only for it to not face him. He pushed Deku a little bit back, but it didn't phase him at, in, at all. There's no scuff marks on that Deku even felt it. Deku says, is that all you have? As Deku delivers a well-placed um, hit straight to All Might's liver, causing him to f grab it and fall to the ground. Before then, Deku would then kick him up into the air before uh, flying above him, before kicking him down and delivering another lightning strike. Nezu seeing this would think that this is bad and would tell me and would uh, honestly could tell me Dory to stop now. As he then as All Might screams out, No, don't stop the match. I can continue. As All Might as the embers of one as the one for all begins to flow through All Might one more time. I should have saved the United States is last for later. I'm gonna do something else. He was gonna say, I don't wanna be making a move. I don't know if this move was set in or my hero verse at all. But he's going to say one for all. I believe it was one million percent. Manchester Oh, was that deck who used this move? It's one of them or both of them actually. I wanna have him use it. Manchester Smash as he was send Deku flying down. Sticks says, as well. How that she felt that. So she normally get up weakly on his knees, and everyone sees he's weakened by this. Stickers says, "Sorry, Okutoshinori, but I gotta end this." Before Deku would then begin to run around in circles, building up a tremendous amount of speed. As Deku thinks that his um his ancestor Billy had showed him something that a friend of his had once done, about building up enough speed and running at. For running a total of 5.3 miles. As he breaks the spout, the, he runs 5.3 miles in general and then breaks the sound barrier in a one straight shot as everyone sees as Midoriya blends a straight punch to All Might. As there's a discharge of energy from Deku's punch being charged up with lightning. It's like, as if it's like an explosion of an energy dome. Everyone then sees as they fist is connected with All Might's face as they see All Might is then flung outside of the city. As they would eventually fly to the outside, being crowned the winner. And after all the other things basically Katsumi and them, they would win, obviously. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have them lose against Endeavor. They're gonna win. Don't wanna go over it because the story focus is mostly 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 on Deku. So yes, that's how that would go. So, um, after the exam, everybody will be told whether they pass it out with Midoriya passing with flying colors after his, after his extremely good show, especially for this, this show of power that they have not seen in anyone, which surpasses even All Might's strength. So, you know, All Might will begin to think maybe he might be the one to defeat him. Maybe he doesn't, um, they don't need one for all to defeat him. 
anymore. His nephew might be the key to taking out one for all, taking him down once and for all. As this is where I'm gonna end this part of the what if. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I I know some you I got a comment saying I should talk louder, but I can't. I'm in a house full of people and I don't want to wake them up. So sorry about that. I I'll try to record during the day when everybody's gone, but it doesn't matter anyway. Go and join the Discord link in the description. I hope you guys have a good day. Joe Kage out.